Hey guys, in this video we have some part-time jobs that you can do with daily pay available and also not having to worry about interviews and also having the ability to set your own schedule and work when you want. So the first company is called Talaka. Talaka is a company I've kind of recently found and this is a company I'm actually working on a review for so I have a little more on like the pros and cons of this website than maybe some of the others on this list but a lot of these I've actually known about longer so I have more information kind of just already in my head about many of these sites but this one I've been kind of working on a review for and there's a lot of stuff I like about Tawaka. Tawaka is actually a microtasking website. So they also have an app as well that you can use. And their app is actually very highly rated. It's got 4.2 out of 5 stars, 10 million plus downloads. And they have the Apple version, which is going to be very similar as well. It's got, I have seen an English version of this. I don't know why they have a link to a one in a different language, but they have a, they, I've seen an English version of this as well. But so Tawaka is an app where you, you do micro-tasking, which includes a lot of different types of things. It could be categorizing things. It could be transcribing things, tagging online. It could be a lot of different types of stuff. They have a lot of AI kind of jobs where basically you help train AI by giving it feedback on something that it generates. And sometimes AI needs a little bit of training from a human eye to do a better job. So if you've ever been interested in AI, obviously that's kind of all the, all the rage right now, then you could also work here as well and do some extra tasks. Now, the thing about this site, it's not really meant to be one that you rely on for a full-time income. So that would be kind of one downside to it. But if you're okay with making extra money, if you're okay with doing kind of some things part-time or outside your regular job, this could be a great one to check out. It also has a pretty quick sign-up process. They also have a training for each task if you need it. So you don't need any kind of special skills or experience to do this. So they'll have you know lots of flexibility. You can pretty much do it whenever you want. They have a very low minimum to withdraw, which is nice. That means you can withdraw pretty much any time. Anytime you've earned any money at all, I guarantee you're not gonna make less than two cents on any task you do here. And when you do a task, pretty much you can go ahead and withdraw right away. So hence the daily um, pay option here. Now you have things like outlining objects, searching for information, taking photos, rating search results, moderating content, transcribing audio. A lot of this has to do with training AI. They have a lot of things on here on their FAQ as well, but I've already kind of summarized a lot of the information from different sources about this company. The pros are that you can do this worldwide. They don't require an interview. They're, they have a very highly rated app. They are also just mobile friendly in general, which is nice. Many companies are not mobile friendly for side hustles. Um, the training is provided, that's very rare but also you just don't have to have experience. A uh, low withdrawal limit, which means you can pretty much collect your money anytime. Um, they have a solid glass door rating as well. The glass door rating, as you can see, is, this is a pay section, but if you go to the overall rating, 4.1 out of five stars, 85% recommend working here to a friend, obviously very good. It's a fast sign up process, no schedule requirements, and many different types of tasks. Many microtasking sites give you a wide variety of things to do, and these usually don't take very long to do them. Um, obviously, you get to work at home as well. Now, the cons, I would say, not many pay reviews. So, for instance, if you look at Glassdoor, I like to look at reviews of what people who have actually used the site have said. They don't have a lot of pay reviews yet, and many of these are jobs like more traditional jobs instead of like what you would normally do as a micro tasker. You could say maybe a content reviewer and a search engine evaluator. Any, pretty much any of these bottom three could probably qualify as things you would do as a, as you know, someone who's a micro tasker. But I would like to see a little more feedback because it's just one salary submitted on each one of these. But it does tell you that you could possibly earn as much as $42 an hour in some cases. So if that is correct, then that would be pretty good. But you know, usually microtasking sites have a pretty wide range in terms of pay. Like for instance, this one you can see was as little as 19 an hour. Now, another con would be it's probably not reliable for full income. Obviously, many side hustle type sites aren't, and that's kind of the point. But also, payout methods could be a little better. I would like to see them 
go back to offering PayPal. For whatever reason, they discontinued the use of PayPal for withdrawing here, but they do still have a couple other options, two of which I've never even heard of, but I have heard of Payoneer. Payoneer is usually a pretty popular option um, that's also offered along with PayPal at many other sites. So at least they do have Payoneer on there, but I'd kind of like to see them add a few other third-party options. If they had just even kept PayPal on here, I would have put that in the pro side, but because, you know, Convenient payment methods are very important for these types of sites, but you might have to bake a Payoneer account if you want to use this, or if you already have one, you don't have to worry about it. Another company we have is called Variable. Variable is a place where you would normally find kind of in-person jobs. It's one of the very few on this list like that, but I know some of you are probably open to finding just whatever you can right now. I know a lot of people are in that boat these days and a variable allows you to find labor type jobs in the manufacturing and logistics areas. So if you're okay with working like in a warehouse or being someone's helper for some sort of labor job, this would be something you could use. Variableops.com is the website. So it's on-demand labor. You kind of just you know, schedule when you're able to work. And so you can go to the bottom or just go to where it says find work. And then you can download the app and it's kind of one of those websites where basically you have an app and you can schedule your shifts and manage you know your payments and stuff through the app there's a few different sites out there that i've covered in the past and you can see their app right here is actually pretty well rated 4.3 out of 5 stars so the you know the downside would be you do have to go somewhere in person of course but some of you i know probably don't um, worry about that quite as much because they'll have all sorts of different opportunities you know especially if you live near a major city so as far as a place where you can find, you know, just some extra work that you can do, you know, usually working with your hands a little bit, they are one you can check out. You just download the app and then step two, basically you fill out a little information about yourself. You may have to pass a background check and I believe most of these are going to be US based as well. You do bid on opportunities, complete the work you're selected for and get paid as soon as the next day for your work. So it looks like they don't require an interview either so they kind of do the background information on you when you sign up kind of automatically I think and they also tell you you will receive payment within 24 hours so the nice thing about it is if you do sign find something you can get paid very quickly and you should be able to sign up very quickly as well they don't really require you to complete a drug screen either if you're worried about you know like if you um, do certain things recreationally you shouldn't have to worry too much about that either as far as reviews variable does have quite a few pay reviews which is nice so if you're looking for like the hourly pay of what you could get here um, you're gonna look for something like an independent contractor because many of these other jobs are going to be more traditional office type jobs but the independent contractors are the ones who do like the way the labor and they use the app to find shifts available in their area and this, they have four reviews, still could be a little bit more. This could be a little bit bigger sample size, but they say independent contractor could earn $48 an hour. Um, it just depends. But again, this could include a lot of different things. I don't know if that's just the manufacturing type jobs you find on the app or not. You see a few other like warehouse jobs where they could be around the $17 to $18 an hour range or $19 an hour, but I don't know if that's really the same thing. I don't know if that's more of like an actual full-time job or if that's something you could find as a contractor as well next we have a company called agents only agents only is a great place to find something where you would basically do customer support so you get, you do get to work from home with this one which is obviously very nice and it allows you to obviously avoid any kind of commute or having to you know the thing about something like variable you you may have to go to a few different locations all the time you may not be obviously going to the same location all the time which could be good or bad depending on how you look at it but with agents only obviously you get to stay at home now they do let you work where you want work when you want work the hours you want work the projects you want and earn more money faster you also get paid daily and they have a community they're very big on like a community of people who also do the same thing as you um, again you're just doing customer support your customer support agent so you, they'll kind of tell you how to sign up the only 
kind of the downside of signing up here is you do have to get a referral first. Now, the upside is they give you a bunch of different places to find those referrals where you basically just, you're, they're trying to promote people to be part of a community and to kind of help each other and to basically help find more customer support reps that kind of vibe with the group. And obviously, it's not always easy to get a referral, but they have the communities already set up for you. So it could be a lot worse, could be a lot harder if you were to have to just like, let's say you had to just go search for somebody on LinkedIn just blindly, it could take forever and it would discourage most people from doing this. But because they list the communities where you get the referral, I think it's not as bad. But another thing that you know may be a downside for some people is you may have to be um, taking calls so if you're okay with customer support, you're okay with taking calls and um, you want something that's you know got a lot of flexibility and daily pay, this could be a great website to check out. Now, as far as what people have said the pay is at agents only, they do have one person who uh, submitted feedback here and they average $19 per hour. As far as how it's rated, 3.3 out of five stars, 57% would recommend working here to a friend. Next, we have a company called Fiverr. Now, Fiverr is going to require you to have a little more kind of uh, self-reliance. You're going to have to basically be an entrepreneur. Fiverr is just going to give you the, the storefront, the platform for actually getting your customers. And they're going to help you get your name out there. The issue is you're going to have to have some sort of skill already. You're going to have to have some sort of service you can provide. And typically you want to be able to provide a web-based service. So if you're somebody who's a carpenter, it's not going to do you much good to sign up on Fiverr. Fiverr is best for web design. It's going to be for like people who make logos, do any kind of graphic design work, AI work, obviously very popular right now. You have things that anything has to do with like websites or software or video editing writing anything that can literally be done on a computer and then when you do that you just go to become a seller and then basically you you sign up here and then you start basically building your storefront where people come to you they buy the package of services that you're offering you'll usually offer up to three um, different packages of services as a freelancer and then you will basically fulfill those services for them you get a review and then you rinse and repeat the reviews will help you get more as far as um, as far as getting more business in the future usually the more good reviews you have the better you rank in the top search results for that particular niche that you're in and so if you want to like look at some examples you can I'll just click on web website design here and you'll see all these different gigs available so you'll see some that are top rated you'll see some that are different levels you'll start out obviously as a level one when you first get started but you can offer all sorts of different types of you know services so for instance this one they start at just five dollars the reason Fiverr is called Fiverr is because they started out doing basically just five dollar gigs and then they kind of they blew up they got really popular and they started kind of giving people more options to sell higher end gigs from there but for instance this one will be like you know a one service a one-time home page image mock-up for five dollars and then you can get five web pages for hundred and fifty dollars and then up to ten pages WordPress website for three hundred and fifty dollars and then they have these different packages and obviously the nice thing about this is you don't have to deal with bids on jobs or anything like that you don't really have to compete with other people to get the job going they just kind of come to you the cut the the client comes to you and they decide if you know you have a reasonable price and they like your profile they like your reviews and all of that and then they hire you so Fiverr is another great way where you can get paid on a daily basis you can also get paid via PayPal Fiverr revenue card bank bank transfer direct deposit or Payoneer and they pay in one to three business days so they pay you for a very they pay you extremely fast and they also have very good reviews 4.4 out of 5 stars 87 percent recommend working here to a friend now the if you're wondering what the average person makes here obviously it's going to depend a lot on your niche and you get to set your own prices so as far as pay goes it's really up to you but you know if you price yourself too high you're not going to get a lot of people who hire you that's the only problem 
So a typical freelancer here, here, according to 90 people, averages just in the ballpark of $39 per hour. Next, we have a very easy type of work, which is transcription editing. Now, the difference between transcription and transcription editing is transcription, you're kind of doing everything manually. You're listening to an audio or video file, and then you're typing what's being said out manually. You're gonna to have to label the speakers. So usually they want you to have a fast word per minute typing speed and a really good comprehension of whatever language you're using. Then with freelance transcription editing, the difference is you usually have some sort of auto-generated transcription and then you edit it as you go. So you're still having to listen to the file, whether it's a video or audio file, and then you're kind of editing the AI or the software transcription that's auto-generated as you go. So that's what Scribby does is the kind of transcription editing. So they have an automated transcript basically that is done for you, which basically cuts out 60% of the work they pay five to twenty dollars per audio hour. This is also supposed to be worldwide, and basically, you just need good listening skills. You you're able to correct grammar, so you have good grammar, and then they also pay you via PayPal. So you can get paid on a daily basis as well. There's not really any minimum to withdraw. That's why you can get paid pretty much any time you want. The average earnings are, are you know, listed here as well. Depending on the daily hours, it's going to vary, but it's not something you really want to rely on for full-time income. Um, for here, they do want you to just have good English skills. You're able to interpret conversations, ability to apply context and identify mistakes, a, varied, a verified PayPal account, laptop or desktop computer, and headphone or headset. So a few things. They don't seem to want you to do this on mobile. Obviously, it would help if English was probably your first language. If you are someone who just learned English, you might not understand the context of some things because there's a lot of slang that takes years to really learn. And obviously the English language is not exactly one of the easiest ones to learn. But um, as far as other things about this job, it, it's just a great one for something on the side. I would recommend this as more something to do outside of your regular job. You get to work at your own convenience the another nice thing about them is you don't have to set aside very big blocks of time because most of the files are very short at only six minutes long or so. So you're only having to complete a six minute, you know, audio or video file at a time, which means you don't have to like set aside. All right, I got to do I got to set aside like a three hour block of time just to do this. Like, no, you, you can probably do just a short block of time after work, even on a weekday if you want. Now, as far as the reviews at Scribby, 3.1 out of 5 stars, 42% recommend working here to a friend. So fairly average ratings. And then as far as the pay goes, the pay is not going to be super high, but it's typically somewhere around like $20 an hour. Next, we have a company called Clear Voice, which is actually owned and operated by Fiverr. Fiverr obviously being one of the biggest freelance sites in the world. I already mentioned that they are a company that pays you within one to three business days. Um, so they pay you as soon as a daily basis. But they also have a really good system for doing freelancing to where you do not have to do it the old fashioned way where you're having to bid on job listings and stuff like that. Instead, they basically have you, um, they give you the work. So with the regular Fiverr site, obviously you have like a storefront. With this one, I don't think you really have a storefront, but it's more like you have the credentials, you build your profile, and they match you with the work automatically. So you have easy client communication and a messaging tool, secure better jobs because basically they match you with jobs based on your expertise and your pay rates. So you set up everything and then they kind of do the matching of jobs for you automatically. And then you build your brand. Obviously, the better reviews you get, the more experience you get, the better stuff you can get in the future. You set your own rates, so however much you think your time is worth, you can charge that, and you get paid quickly via PayPal upon assignment approval. So you're supposed to be able to get paid as soon as daily, and this is a place where they have a lot of different industries, and everything is basically geared around writing. The thing about this site, though, is you're gonna have to have some sort of past skill, um, some experience writing where you can actually give examples or, or work samples that show that you have actually done this before at a pretty decent level. So that would be kind of the downside. It's not something you can really do as a complete beginner. Now, as far as what it's like to work at Clear Voice, they have a 4.4 out of five star rating, which is obviously very good. 72% recommend working here to a friend, obviously great. 
If you want to see what the average is for people who have actually left reviews, obviously this is just a sample of the thousands of people that have probably used this site. So it's not always going to be perfect, but it's nice to see an average. Freelance writers, we do have two freelance writers that averaged around 25 an hour. We have a copywriter who worked here averaging around 30. Next, we have a company called Poplin. This is a little bit different. This is actually kind of a hybrid between, between working from home and going somewhere. Now, you're not going to have to stay at that place where you go somewhere. You're just dropping something off. It's kind of like a if you were to have a hybrid between like DoorDash and working from home. Like if you spent part of your time with DoorDash working from home, that would kind of be like the, I mean, it's a weird comparison, but it's kind of the closest I can get because it's kind of a unique type of gig economy job where basically you handle everything through an app. As you can see, they have a, a app on both Google Play and on the Apple App Store. It's very highly rated at 4.8 out of five stars. And it's basically used for basically hiring somebody to do your laundry for you. And basically, you do this kind of like Uber, you do it kind of like DoorDash, you set up a profile and then you take jobs in your local area. So you may have to drive to pick up or to deliver, but outside of that, you're not really having to spend time outside of home. You're gonna work from home most of the time just doing laundry and you can earn up to 6,000 a month because there are a select few people who have made that but I wouldn't expect that because obviously a lot of people could live off of that amount of money but you don't wanna expect that all the time. Still best done as a side hustle. But when you sign up, they give you the videos and the training to help you be as efficient as possible at doing this. You accept the jobs you want in your area, pick up, wander, return and repeat. So they tell you that the top 10 people average, that's kind of where the 6,000 a month comes from, is pretty close to what the top 10 pros make. Top 100 average 2,500 a month as well, which is pretty solid, um, especially for a gig economy type of thing. But this is in over 500 cities in the US. So you gotta type in your zip code if you're in the US to make sure that you are in an area where this is um, available and you do need to be at least 18 years of age or older el eligible to work in the US and have a way to pick up or deliver orders so in other words probably some sort of form of transportation you may also have to pass a background check as well now as far as uh, materials needed you do need a smartphone obviously a washer and dryer a mode of transportation household items include laundry detergent clear bags labels and a simple bathroom scale so average per order is $40 and you could probably do multiple orders per day and the very minimum per order is around $15 and then you get tips on top of that. So you should be able to get probably more like $20 in order no matter what. But um, it's just another kind of easy thing you can do on the side and you can get paid extremely fast as soon as daily. Basically they used to say it on their website they've changed up their website a little bit but it used to be between one and two days to get paid 4.5 out of five stars 91 percent recommend working here to a friend which is obviously very good well above the industry average of 3.6 if you look at how much people average in terms of pay here a sudster is what basically they call laundry pros usually um, they average the one with the most you know salaries submitted they average pretty good money. It's basically around $36 an hour. Now, if you look at some of these other, some of the other ones here, you see one that says bronze sister. I don't really know about the different levels, but um, this one is $28 an hour. You see some that say 18, some that say 19, 22. So somewhere around 20 to $36 an hour is kind of the range here. Probably depends on the city you live in. Next, we have a company called M Turk or Amazon Mechanical Turk would be the full name. This is actually owned and operated by the Amazon. And Amazon Mechanical Turk is a place where you can do micro tasking jobs. So kind of like the first company I showed you, which was called Toloka. Um, this is a site where you can do kind of similar types of tasks. Where you're kind of helping train AI. You got a bunch of just odd jobs that you do on the internet, completely from home, of course. The nice thing about Amazon Mechanical Turk is not just the variety of jobs they have available, but also they let you sign up with your existing Amazon account. So if you already have an Amazon account, you can already sign up just instantly and get one of the faster sign up processes done, of course, of any website on this list. 
But here you have tasks like image and video processing jobs. You have data verification and cleanup. You have information gathering and you have data processing. And there's a lot of different types of jobs in each of these categories, of course, but they're very easy. They're jobs that don't require you to be on the phone. You're not having to deal with customers or anything like that. You're just basically accepting the jobs off a long list of a, you know, like a job board type thing. Usually a lot of these only take a few minutes to complete or, you know, at most maybe an hour or two. And it's stuff that usually you can do without a lot of experience or, you know, special skills. And also you don't have to worry about an interview or anything like that as well. You can also get paid via Amazon gift cards if you want. But as far as how much people average in terms of pay, it's kind of hard to find an exact amount. Obviously, with any kind of micro tasking website like this, there's usually a pretty wide range in pay. It could be $10 an hour, it could be $40 an hour. Just the reviews that I've seen in general for micro tasking are very wide ranging most of the time. But as far as the salary range here, according to Amazon's page, because Amazon Mechanical Turk doesn't really have their own Glassdoor page yet, it's 48 to 64,000 a year, which would be an average of 56,000 a year, and that's only if you were to work full-time hours. So it's better to find the hourly rate for stuff like this because you're probably not working full-time. So the hourly rate for 56,000 a year would be something like $27, $28 an hour, something like that. And obviously, Amazon has pretty solid ratings as far as a company. 3.7 out of 5 stars, 68% recommend working here to a friend. We also have a company called ShiftSmart. Now, ShiftSmart is another one where they offer a, a kind of a variety of jobs. It's not a microtasking site, however. It's just one where you, it's kind of like variable in a way, except a lot of the jobs are actually online as well. They kind of have both in-person and online jobs. But ShiftSmart, they have an app that you can use where you can find whatever they call shifts available in your area or shifts available for you at home. And basically, if you look at the app here, you know, you can go and it'll basically show you the reviews are very good, are almost four out of five stars, million plus downloads, which is good. That's a pretty large sample size. They'll have all sorts of different jobs you can do locally, like I said, and then you have jobs that you're supposed to be able to do kind of online as well. So. They have like also a listings page. Now they have like a, a variety of jobs that they mention here, like survey calling, mystery shopping, property audits, and other things. And then they have a list, they have listings on the app. I don't know if their online jobs are listed on the app as well though. But if you go to the worker section of their actual website, their desktop page, they have a store associate available, a retail auditor, survey caller, and tech product tester jobs available right now. And again, they do tell you to sign up through the app, so I guess these are also listed on the app as well. But some of these, you can just kind of be in a certain country. You don't necessarily have to be near a certain city. Some of these, you may have to go in person. But like a tech product tester, for instance, you can uh, try out different products in different countries here. Like for instance, if you click the US, they'll tell you like trial sessions are one to one and a half hours long, earn up to 40 to $80 to interact with new tech devices. So if you're looking for something where you can get paid for a little bit of extra time, then you could do like a product tester. But you could also do something that might be a little more consistent like a survey caller. For instance, this is $10 an hour, so not the highest paying job in the world, but it's something you could probably do with very minimal experience. You also get to choose your own schedule, earn very quickly, uh, work from home, of course, and there's no sales or gimmicks or like commission-based stuff or anything like that. Now, as far as the requirements, 18 years or of age or older, eligible to work in the US, this will obviously vary a lot depending on which one of the jobs you do. Um, this one, they do want you to be physically located in the US, speak fluent English, access to an iPhone or Android for work, and access to a Mac or Windows computer. So that's just a couple of examples of what you can find at ShiftSmart, but that would be another one you might want to check if you want pretty fast pay and you're looking for something that doesn't have a lot of you know, requirements. Now, as far as pay goes, uh, in general, if you want to just see averages, you know, I showed you one that pays like $80 for an hour and a half of your time, but it's not consistent. I said you one, showed you another one that's probably a little more consistent that's like $10 an hour. So I've, already I've shown you a pretty wide range of pay just between those two. But they have some that say like 18 an hour, you know, some of these, it's hard to tell you exactly which of these are, you know, the actual 
contractor positions. This says independent contractor 57 an hour. That seems a little high to me. I don't know what all they, that entails. But if you do factor in the, you know, like the product tester, for instance, if you looked at that on an hourly basis, it would be like, you know, almost $80 an hour. So maybe that factors in the product tester to go with it. Um, as one of the independent contractor jobs, that might be what raises this average quite a bit. But, you know, if it was all like survey callers, survey callers, they don't get paid a whole lot. It's more like, you know, 10 to $20 an hour. But it just depends on what you do here. And last but not least, we have a company called TriMata. This is a very simple site where basically you get paid to test websites and give your feedback. This is a place where you are just going to answer questions about the usability of a website or the user friendliness of a website. You just go to get paid to test and then they'll tell you a little bit of information here about like it, how it pays five to thirty dollars per test. You know, typically, you know, they don't really tell you exactly how long these tests take, but most companies, there are many different companies that are similar to this. Most of the tests usually take like 20 minutes or so. Um, and then PayPal is how they pay you. So obviously very convenient there. That's always nice to see. And then they don't usually have a lot of requirements. You don't really need any experience. You don't need any kind of, you know, higher education or anything like that or any kind of interview. And they do pay you every weekday morning through PayPal. So you can get paid on a daily basis and they confirm that here on their sign up page. And then you can do as many tests as you want. There's not it's not meant to be full-time work, however, um, but you can do as many tests as are actually available that given week. So there's not a big limit, but you kind of work whenever you have stuff available. It used to be called Try My UI. You're probably wondering, why am I showing reviews of Try My UI? Well, when they converted to TryMata, they didn't seem to change over their Glassdoor name yet. So they're still, they still have their former name on the reviews page, but Try My UI has a 3.3 out of five star rating 65% recommend working here to a friend. And like I said, as far as pay goes, it's between five and $30 per test, which typically, if you just go by the industry standard, it's more like 20 minutes a test. And as far as what you actually need, uh, you may have to record video or your screen. So you're gonna need some sort of um, website or app available. And then you're going to need probably some sort of mic for speaking what your thoughts are about the website that you're testing. Other than that, hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want more daily work from home opportunities like these as well as other side hustles and stuff like that. If you thought this was a helpful video, please click the like button and don't forget to let me know if you have any suggestions for future videos or wanna ask me a question in the comments. I'll try to get back to you or make a video for you in the future and I'll see you in the next one.